This is what a day is like with 11 cats. Stella, Splash, Simba, Boo, Sammy, Richard, Nancy, Goldie, Ziggy, Ringo, Eva, Hydrox, and Ditto, the Lucky Pharaohs. It's 8 a.m. and here's Splash. He's sleeping in today because it's a gray, cold, yucky day. Here's Stella. She's still resting on the bed. Here's Boo. He's still sleeping. And there's Simba. I just got out of the shower, so the first thing I do in the morning is my personal care routine. The next thing I'm going to do is get dressed and do my hair and get ready for my day. I should also mention that another thing I do in the morning is hydrate myself. So I always go to sleep with a bottle of water next to my bed. The first thing I do when I wake up is drink some of the water. So I probably drank a little bit of this before I went to sleep last night. And I drank more of it this morning. I'm going to finish this bottle of water and then continue hydrating this morning. It is 8.07 a.m. And I'm dressed, and I just put product in my hair. My hair's not dry yet, but I have product in it. I kind of let it air dry a little in the morning. What I do now is I open the windows for the cats. We let some nice fresh air in, and it's January, so it's going to be cold air. I shut the heat off, and they love doing this every morning. It helps to wake them up when they're sleeping in a little bit. So I open this window and I open the window on Boo's room. Right now it's really hot in the house. It's like 73, 74 degrees. And I also put their electronic toys on. That way they can have some entertainment while I continue getting ready for my day. Now I'm charging the batteries for this camera. These are my extra batteries. I have to make sure they're charged so I can use them today. And then I come downstairs and I check on the Lucky 7. Ringo, what are you eating? That was dinner from yesterday. Don't eat that. We're going to have breakfast soon, okay? Here's Nancy and Richard. Good morning. Here's Sammy. She's been up bright and early today. Hey, Sammy. Good morning, Ringo. We'll have breakfast soon, okay? They have nature videos playing on the TV because it keeps them out of trouble at night. If I put the nature videos on TV for them, then they don't get themselves into trouble. So I'm just going to put their electronic toys on also. Here's their other one. <laughs> hey, Sammy. How are you? Good morning. They like to look out the windows in the morning. I'm not sure. I think this one is Ziggy. I think this is Ziggy. Is this Ziggy? Hey Ziggy, good morning. Look what they did to the wall. Have you seen that? I need to put like carpeting on the wall or something. Good morning, Sammy. Here's Goldie. She's looking out of this window. They want me to put bird seed outside for the birds. Hello guys. Little Eva's in the window in the back room. I also opened the back door for them so they could look out the storm door, but I don't let them upstairs yet because I still need to finish getting ready for my day and they need to eat and they eat separately right now. They're still getting to know each other as a family. Look at Boo. He's all stretched out. He's like, I smell fresh air. I'm going to get up now. It's 8.15 a.m. I'm still getting ready for my day and I am going to make myself a juice to enjoy while I'm doing that. So I have this morning blend, which is five fruit juices. It's really good. It's like a tropical fruit punch and I mix in some of this amazing grass, amazing trio. It is barley grass, wheatgrass, and alfalfa. Yes, it is the same supplement that I put in the homemade cat food. But I've been using it for myself way longer than I've been using it for cat food. I'll also mix in a little water to this, and this will give me some really good energy and nutrition for the start of my day. It's 8.30, and it's time to put my shoes on so I could go outside and put some bird seed on the patio for the birds. And also, 
I have found that it is very important if you are working from home like I do to get dressed like you would if you were going to an office. Not necessarily super dressed up, but dressed up enough so you feel like you're going to work and not just relaxing all day. Right, Stella? I just put some bird seed out for the birds and the squirrels. The heated water bowl looks good, still has a lot of water in it, and looks pretty clean. Today is such a gray day. I should mention that I should mention that this is just one day with 11 cats in January and that my days are definitely not all the same. They vary greatly, but I don't have a lot on the agenda today, so I thought it would be a good day to film something like this. Hello girls. They're excited that I put the bird seed out. The next thing I do is some cleanup. I gotta clean up all of these plates from last night. Hey Goldie. Hey Sammy. Hey Richard. Turn the toys back on. Now I'm putting fresh water in all of the water bowls. Look at the bird seed audience. There's two on top. Ringo's walking down. There's Nancy. And there's Goldie. She's probably gonna go up. While the cats are preoccupied with the birds, I'm making myself some breakfast. I'm just about to crack two eggs open and I remembered that I have these eggshells drying. So what I do is I save my eggshells whenever I make eggs, dry them out, and then I grind them into a powder and I use it as a calcium supplement for the homemade raw cat food that I make. It's 8.56 a.m. I'm making my breakfast and Nancy has started crying at the door, obviously because she smells food. And there's Goldie. They want to eat, so I'm going to finish making my breakfast as fast as I can so then I can feed them. It's really important for me to make sure that I am properly nourished in the morning so I have enough energy to make sure everyone else is properly nourished. Right, guys? So you just wait like 10 minutes, okay? You want me to put your toys back on or your toys off? Your toys off? I just gave them the fling -a string toy. This is the toy that I hold off on giving them until a situation like this arises where I need to distract them. Then they get this toy. I'm having two eggs on toast with a sliced apple because I need to use up some bread that's been in my refrigerator before it goes bad. And I am at the very end of this bottle of ketchup. This is the best ketchup in the world. It is True Made Foods ketchup. It has no sugar in it. It's made with tomatoes, apples, carrots, squash, loaded with vegetables. It's absolutely delicious. Splash likes to say hello to me while I'm eating my breakfast. Hello, Splash. I'm wearing this turtleneck that has winter cats on it. Can you see? Siamese, Calico. Oh, Splash wants more pets. I got it from Land's End like a year or two ago. It's like a seasonal item of clothing. Only really wear it in like December and January. Okay, so what usually happens is I pet Splash with my left hand while I eat with my right hand. While I check emails or read some news online. It's 9.15 a.m. Hey, boo. I offer some playtime to the cats. Some days they want to play, and other days they just want to eat their breakfast. It looks like today, who's in the mood for some play? Do you see what they've done to this ottoman? They've scratched all the corners of it. Hey, boo. Simba was just scratching the corners of it and Boo hit him. Boo's like, you don't do that. Good job, Boo. Good job. Simba, what are you thinking? What are you thinking, Simba?
Look at Boo, can you see him up there? Splash enjoys playtime. It's 9.30 and it's time to shut the windows. I leave them open just a little bit, like an inch. It's still quite warm in the house. It's not cold enough to shut the windows completely and the cats do like to continue to smell the air after breakfast. It is 9.30 a.m. and the cats are having their breakfast. So Stella, Splash, Simba, and all of the Lucky Seven are having Nature's Variety Instinct Raw Chicken Bites. And Boo's having homemade raw food because he does not like those chicken bites. They're each having a little bit of Stuart's freeze-dried chicken breasts on top of the food as a topper. And I usually watch them eat for a little while to make sure that everyone's eating. The thing about this toy is that it does not have like an automatic shut off. So I have to put this on for the cats when I know it's not going to be on for like hours and hours and hours. Like I can't give this to the cats at night and have it run for eight hours because, you know, the batteries would just go. And so that's why I keep it for situations like this morning where Nancy was crying at the door. It definitely served its purpose. It distracted the cats and now they're going to have their breakfast. But first they're going to have a little bit of playtime also. Look at Sammy. She's laying in the tunnel, ready to ambush in either direction. It's a three-way tunnel. She sits in the middle of it like that, so if anyone goes by either side, she'll like shoot out of the tunnel. I'm trying to get her to come out of the tunnel, but I don't think she wants to. Sammy has the bird. I should have had the camera on. Can you see her in there? Sammy is the smallest cat in the house. She's also the fastest cat in the house. I don't know how that works. Like, she's so small. But she's so fast. Like she's like lightning when she runs. She's just a blur. What you doing in there, Sammy? You having fun in your tunnel?
After playtime, I turn off their nature videos. They only get their nature videos at night. Sammy just ambushed Ringo through the tunnel. I've never seen her do it this way before. She ran in this side of the tunnel and she shot out the middle. And Ringo was like walking by. He's like, what's going on? The Lucky Seven are getting their breakfast. They're having the Nature's Variety Raw Instinct Bites with a little bit of freeze-dried rabbit on top. Here, everybody. Everybody eat. Where's everybody at? Everyone has their food, and Richard's looking at the birds out the window. Nancy's playing, and Sammy is near her tunnels but they'll usually come and eat, so I'm not too concerned. And if they don't want to eat now, they'll usually come and eat later. And for some reason, Ringo's looking out the window instead of eating. With the Lucky 7, I don't have to really keep an eye on their food and guard it from each other because none of the other cats are gonna come down and eat it. If the other cats weren't kind of avoiding this downstairs area, they would come down and eat whatever's left over just because that's how they are. But these guys, they don't really do that. So I kind of just let the food sit here and then they can come back and eat it when they want to. But we'll see what happens. Usually what happens is if I go upstairs, then they'll start crying at the door because they want to come up and I'll let them up. But right now um, they have their food, they can eat it. I don't know if you could hear the noise, but something's going on outside. Like there's some kind of heavy equipment being used. So that could be why some of the cats are not eating and they'd rather look out the windows. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Now it's time to clean up the kitchen. There's still a few nuggets of the raw food on here, so I'll just leave one plate. The rest of these plates are going in the garbage and I'm gonna clean up the breakfast dishes. I'm gonna empty the dishwasher and take the garbage out. 10.05 a.m. The cats have been crying at the door, but I had an early phone call. I like to get to work around 10 o'clock, which means sitting at my computer and getting work done. But today I need to set up this new surge protector. So two weeks ago, or right before Christmas, a few days before Christmas, we had a really, really bad storm with crazy winds. And I think that is what damaged two of my external hard drives. One I sent out for data recovery and the other one I'm still deciding what to do with it, but I can't access either of them. And they both had the same exact issue. I've never had these kinds of issues in more than 10 years of using these external hard drives. So the fact that they both have the same problem at the same time makes me think that it was from a power surge from that storm. So that's why I ordered this new surge protector from Amazon. It's supposed to be a really good one. And I wanna make sure this is set up and that my computers are attached to this. I have a few different computers that I work on for work purposes. And then I also have my computer that I do all the YouTube stuff on. So I need to make sure everything's protected. I have some printers and some other computer equipment. So I wanna make sure that uh, nothing will get damaged. We are expected to have another bad storm today with potentially 70 mile per hour winds. So I wanna make sure that I get this set up. I just looked at my Amazon order and this is not the surge protector that I bought. They sent me a completely different one. The one that I bought is black. It has more outlets on it and it also has USB and USB-C. So now I'm gonna have to return this. I just put the Fab Four in my bedroom so I could go and return the surge protector. I have to run up to Whole Foods, drop it off and then get back. It's 11.03 a.m. I just got back from Whole Foods a little while ago. I have already been bombarded with work calls this morning. It's, I thought it was gonna be a very uneventful day, but it's already getting hectic. The cats are still enjoying the open window. 
It's 11.15 a.m. It is starting to precipitate outside and I just checked the hourly forecast and it's supposed to just be like raining the rest of the day, potentially just getting worse as the storm comes on. So I am going to scoop all of the litter boxes right now. I normally do it later in the afternoon, but because of the weather today, change of plans, I'm just going to scoop all the litter boxes now. And I'm gonna clean up the empty plates down here while I'm at it. It's 11.25 a.m. I just took out dinner for the cats. This is their homemade raw food. It is chicken. So this is going to defrost today. It is just frozen solid. And I am boiling some water to make myself a cup of tea. And here's Nancy and Richard. Nancy has been meowing at me because she probably wants some treats. Just give Nancy some treats and now Richard's stealing them all. Here, Nancy. Here, Nancy. That way you each got three, okay? Good? Sammy just showed up. Sammy, you want some treats? Here, look. That's the end of the container. Here. That's the end of the container. These are the Bench and Field Holistic Natural Feline Treats. We get these at Trader Joe's. The cats really like them. I just made myself a big mug of decaffeinated Irish breakfast tea. Meanwhile, here's Splash and Stella. They just had a treat. Here's Boo. He just had a treat. And look at what's going on here. That's Nancy on top of the cat tower. And that's Simba on top of the armoire. And this looks like Ringo and Richard, but that might be little Eva on the right. But it might be Richard. I'm not sure. It's one of them. Before I actually sit down to work, I'm putting my lunch together. So I'm having some lentils, roasted pumpkin, and then that's some frozen Swiss chard. And I'm gonna be heating that up in my electric lunchbox. So all I have to do is loosely cover this and then zip up this Sabbath Heat electric lunchbox. And in an hour or so when I'm ready to eat my lunch, it should be nice and hot and thoroughly cooked. It's about 12, 15 p.m. I just spent about 15 minutes going through comments and messages and the amount of trolls and just completely wrong information on the internet always astounds me. But that's really why I have the Lucky Ferrell's YouTube channel to kind of correct a lot of that wrong information. So even though it's like really frustrating to have to deal with idiots online, at the same time, I feel like it's the purpose of this channel is to kind of let's put some truth out there. It's 12.45, I have to shut the window because it's starting to get cold in here. It looks like all of the birds have eaten all of the bird seed. I'm not putting any more out though. Here's Sammy. How you doing, Sammy? Look what's going on in here. So Splash and Stella are in the same spot. Boo moved over there. Let's watch Richard get down. How's he gonna get down? You gonna get down or you gonna stay up there? I just wanna shut the window, Richard. And here's Simba. Simba's being very patient with all of the visitors in the room today, right, Simba? Simba, you okay, Simba? Simba, don't be mad. Don't be mad. Those are your brothers and sisters, Simba. Simba, those are your brothers and sisters, okay? I just put the heat on. It's only 67 degrees in the house, which is too cold for me. So this is the weather pattern that is supposed to be coming in. And right now we're like way up here. We're on like the northeastern edge of this. So uh, the next 24 hours are gonna be interesting. It's 1.25 p.m. There's Nancy and there's Richard. It's 1.30 p.m. And now Sammy is meowing at me. What do you want, Sammy? What's the matter? What do you want? So they had treats a while ago. I'm not opening any windows. The windows are shut. It's starting to get cold in here. I just had to put a sweater on. The heat has been put on a while ago. What do you want? You want more treats? You want more treats? 
that's what you want just give them a few each and that's all they're getting that's it I just gave Sammy a few crunchies because she's still pestering me Meanwhile, I'm going to have my lunch now. I just made a really nice lentil pumpkin curry and I have some pita bread on the side. One of the nice things about working from home is that I don't have to take a set lunch hour. I could eat whenever I want to. And also if I have some things that pop up in the morning like they did today, I could just work through lunch. Like I don't have to actually stop and go out for like an hour or anything like that. So. That's why I like the flexibility of working from home. It's 2.30 p.m. And I was gonna say the house is nice and quiet because it's been nice and quiet for at least, you know, 20 minutes. But Richard was just meowing. Richard, go relax. Everyone's relaxing, okay? It's time to relax. It's the afternoon, okay? Go relax, Richard. There's Ringo. He's still looking out the window. It's 3.30 p.m. It's been raining, which is nice because a lot of the snow is dissolving and a lot of the ice is melting. And this is Sammy. She's been meowing at me. So I just picked her up and I put her in this room on the cat tower but she didn't want to be on the cat tower, so she jumped down to be near the window. But I don't want to give them any snacks because I want to give them an earlier dinner today. Yeah, so yesterday they had dinner like around five o'clock, which is good. I'm trying to give them dinner closer to sunset. So sunset's been around 4.45 um, to five o'clock, like around there, and I'm trying to get them fed around that time. And then it frees up part of the evening for me, and then I give them a snack before I go to bed, and that keeps them quiet most of the night. Right, Sammy? You want to go hang out with your older brothers and sisters? It's 5.22 p.m. I'm getting a lot of work done on my computer right now, and the entire house is quiet. I wanted to feed the cats around this time or a little bit earlier, but I don't want to wake them up. So I'm just going to let everyone continue to sleep wherever they are. And then when they get up and start annoying me for dinner, then I'll give them their dinner. So it's another little change of plans right now. It's raining out and it's already very dark out. And I got a big Chewy's order delivered maybe like a half hour ago. And of course, they don't ring the bell, they just leave it outside in the rain. But luckily, I just happened to see the FedEx truck pull up. And I was like, oh, where's FedEx going? And then I realized they were coming here. Here's the Fab Four on the bed. I just had dinner about 10 minutes ago. I had some flatbread sandwiches. See, no one's hungry. So they'll have their dinner later. Look at this, it's 6.12 p.m. and there's Simba. I didn't even realize he was sitting next to me until he started growling. Because it looks like more of the cats have woken up other than just Simba. There's Ziggy. I'm trying to get some work done so I could turn the computers off since I don't have my new surge protector. And if the storm gets worse tonight, I want to make sure that the computers are protected. It's 7 p.m. Ah! Look at what's going on here. Nancy, get away from there. Boo's using the litter box. Move out, Nancy. Move out of here. You don't need to bother him. Don't bother him. How would you like it if someone was bothering you when you were in the litter box, Nancy? Give him some privacy. Give him some privacy. Go downstairs, Nancy. You want me to get my jingle bells? You want me to get the jingle bells? I'm going to get the jingle bells, Nancy. Let's go downstairs. You can go downstairs now or I get the jingle bells. Ready? 
Let's go downstairs, Nancy. Let's go. Come on. Let's go, Nancy. Let's go downstairs. Downstairs. You're okay, Boo. You're okay, Boo. You're okay, Boo. Boo's still tired. He looks like he just got up. You're okay, Boo. You're all right. You're a good boy. You're okay. Don't worry. You're okay. I got my jingle bells ready, and everyone's going to go downstairs. Here's Splash. He's on the bed. Here's Simba. Here's Stella. They know that they don't have to go downstairs when they hear jingle bells. Here's little Eva. This is her favorite bed. How you doing, little Eva? She said she's a good girl. You're a good girl, Eva. Here's Goldie. She's been relaxing in this bed. Goldie's a very good girl. There's Nancy. There's Ziggy. There's Ringo. There's Sammy. And there's Richard. All seven of them are downstairs. Hello, Ziggy. How are you, Ziggy? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put some videos on for them to watch. Some nature videos. I'll put their toys on. And I'm going to go upstairs. I'm going to finish what I'm working on because I can hear the storm getting worse outside. I'm just trying to get a few things done before it gets really bad. And then I'm going to give everyone dinner. Right, Nancy? We had a good day today until uh, Nancy started howling at Boo in the litter box. And that's why I can't keep them together while they're not supervised. Like when no one's in the house. If I'm out of the house, I can't keep them all together with each other. Let's check out the Chewy delivery so I could put everything away. So Chewy's recently had their New Year sale, which was spend $100 and then you get a $30 e-gift card. And that's a really good deal. So they said you could do up to three orders and get a $30 gift card for each order and I compared prices online and I was like yeah the prices are good and why not get a $30 gift card this is all stuff that I'm going to be using within the next few months so I stocked up I think it's a good way to start the year by stocking up so um, what I tried to do was put orders together that were as close to $100 in total as possible so I got a large bag of this Origin Guardian 8 food. That's like $72 just for that one bag of dry cat food. It's kind of crazy, but it's, in my opinion, it's like the best dry cat food that you can purchase because it is 90% animal ingredients, which is great. And we're trying to keep the cats on low carb. So if that's 90% animal ingredients, that means it should only be 10% or less of carbs picked up a case of Sheba Pate because now that the cats are not eating Fancy Feast Classic, this is some of the only low carb, reasonably priced cat food on the market. So that's why I got that. And then I needed like another, I don't know if it was like $10 to make a hundred or something like that, or a little bit less. So uh, they have these boxes of meaty sticks. This is a box of 40 meaty sticks. So um, the cats will get these as snacks and treats. So this was one of the orders that was around $100. And this is the next order that was close to $100. You know, you had to do at least 100 if not like, you know, a little bit over. So this is another case of Sheba, but these are not the seafood. These are chicken, turkey, and beef. And then here's another bag of the Origin dry cat food. This is the original formula. So. Um, this just has different protein ingredients than the other one. The cats like both of them. And then these are some meaty sticks. I think it was supposed to be like a small box, like what I had just purchased or something like that. I just had to add a little bit to get it to $100. So um, we're set with dry food now for, I want to say like probably three or four months, maybe a little bit more. I mean, this is a lot of dry food. The cats only really get it for occasional snacks they get like like one or two tablespoons each but they get it if i'm away for uh, more than 24 hours then they get it um like as a meal so these are two really big bags they should last a while i should definitely have meaty sticks for a while and the sheba should last for a while also they do get it as a snack sometimes but they'll only get like a half of a perfect portion each when they get it as a snack 
and once a week they do get it as a meal um, usually the fish varieties in which case they'll usually get a whole perfect portion sometimes two perfect portions but the downstairs cats are still eating through some of the fancy feast that I have down there. I have like two cases we have to go through because I'm not going to just let it go to waste and they don't have issues eating the fancy feast right now. So yeah, that's what I got. Oh, and I got one more box. This is the third box and these are the Stuart freeze dried chicken breasts. Now, something very concerning is going on with these because this is an 11 and a half ounce container and there's also like a 14 ounce container that I used to get. And the price per ounce used to be the exact same on the 11 ounce and the 14 ounce containers. And something happened and now the 14 ounce container is way more expensive than it used to be. I think these were each like $21. That's why I got five of them. So it made $100. And then the 14 ounce container, all of a sudden it's up to almost $50. And I was like... Let me just stock up on these in case the price of these go up crazy also. So five containers should last about two and a half months because I usually go through two containers a month because this is what the cats get on their meals. Like this is their meal topper. They love it and sometimes they'll get it as a snack and if someone has an upset stomach what I'll do is sometimes rehydrate a few pieces of this chicken breast and see if they'll eat it that way but for the most part they get it as a meal topper and when you're topping 11 meals twice a day um, you know you can really go through this product so between this freeze-dried chicken the Sheba the dry food I mean we should definitely be set for I want to say like at least three months which will be good because this will uh, cut down on time spent shopping for things so really the only other stuff I would need to buy is like cat litter and then ingredients for raw food and also churus or squeeze ups if I see them in like home goods or TJ Maxx because that's where I've been getting them like super cheap so now I have to put all this away 745 I think I just finished as much work as I am going to be able to get done today right Stella so I'm going to shut off the computers, disconnect everything, and then hope this storm passes quickly and uneventfully. I'm charging up all of my solar power banks in case we lose power. Obviously, I'm not charging them with solar because it's dark out right now. So I'm plugging them all in and I'm just charging them through the AC outlets. It is 8.15 p.m. and the cats are eating their dinner. They're getting homemade raw food. This is ground chicken. And I think we're super, super lucky right now that the weather is relatively warm outside. Like right now, I think it's 40 something degrees. And the reason why is because if it was cold right now, we'd be getting snow. We would be getting a lot of snow. And I was talking to someone that I work with today who lives about a half hour west of here. And they were telling me that they got about five inches of snow the other day, but people that live in Sussex County, New Jersey, which is like the westernmost county, got over a foot of snow. So I'm happy that we got very little snow the other day. And I'm very happy that our temperatures are warm right now so we're not getting snow now. While I'm not a fan of like rainy, windy weather, I would much rather have rainy, windy weather than snow. So Nancy is now crying by the door. So I'm going to go give the Lucky Seven their dinner. I hear Richard crying also. I just have to make sure everyone up here it's a good start on their meal before I go downstairs. Okay, who's eating down here? You guys ready for dinner? You hungry? Hey, Nancy. What's the matter, Nancy? The Lucky Seven ate their dinner. There's still like one plate that really hasn't been touched. And then this plate that's only been like half eaten. But for the most part, the others have all been eaten. So I'm going to give them some canned food and... The upstairs cats are eating um, some Sheba right now as a, as their dessert. So I'll put like a little bit of canned food on each plate down here and hopefully that'll 
keep them happy. Let me show you what little Eva does. Little Eva loves canned food. And this is the closest that she ever gets to me without being completely afraid. See, she'll eat it off of a spoon. She'll eat canned food off of a spoon. She's even eaten canned food out of my hand. She will not eat a treat out of my hand. But the fact that she'll, you know, eat out of a spoon out of my hand, I mean, that's good. So this is what has been happening recently. I'll give the cats their dinner, which is usually raw food. Then Nancy and Eva sometimes hold out for the canned food. So I open two three ounce cans of Fancy Feast. I split each can four ways and distribute it on these plates. So this is what they're gonna have for, for now. And this is what the Fab Four do with their Sheba. So they each had half of a Sheba Perfect Portion. They like nibble on it for a little bit and then they're like, okay, we've had enough. We'll leave these for later. So that's what's going on here. It's 8.45 p.m. Here's Boo. All I want to do right now is load the dishwasher, make something to eat, and relax for a little bit. Richard has been crying by the door to the kitchen, so I let him upstairs. He's currently underneath this bed, so I don't mind if he behaves himself, if he's up here. But, you know, I just want to relax. I don't want to deal with cat drama, right, Boo? Hopefully there won't be any. Chances are very good that Nancy's going to start crying by the door to come upstairs. And then I'll have to let her up here also. Usually when like Nancy's by herself or Richard's by himself, then they're okay with the other cats. But usually when they're together, then I guess they feel a bit more brave uh, and brazen. So I just want to relax right now. It's two minutes later and Nancy is crying at the door. Nancy's been sitting here meowing at me, like crying at me. The minute I turn the camera on, she stops. This is what you want? You want this? Alright, that's it. That's what you get. It is 9.45 p.m. And the Fab Four are having one teaspoon of crunchies each right now. Here's Splash. He does this thing where he gets a bunch of pets before he eats his crunchies. This is a tripod. Come here, Splash. Okay, I guess he had enough pets he's going to go eat. So while they're having their crunchies, I am going to go downstairs. So Richard and Nancy just came downstairs a few minutes ago. And to get them down here, I have to come down here, but I leave the door open and then they follow me down. And then when they follow me down, I go back upstairs and I shut the door. Um, so Richard came down. He's eating some of the food that was left on the plates. Nancy connived me out of four spoonfuls of crunchies that she ate in the kitchen on the plates that had the leftover Sheba's on them. So what I'm going to do right now is play with the cats for a little while and kind of get some of their energy out if they have any energy left for the day. And then... I'm going to set them up for, you know, going to bed tonight. I shut all the lights off down here. I do leave the video on the TV on, but all the other lights get shut off. And then, then they're set until tomorrow. See, they're all coming out to play. Okay, guys. The four tabbies are hunting the bird toy. It's 
Little Eva, Ringo, Nancy, and Richard. Sammy's in her tunnel. See Sammy? She's right in the middle of it, waiting to pounce on somebody. I can hear the wind from down here. I think it's about 10, 10 p.m. right now, and the cats were having some really nice treats. And Nancy decided that she was going to scratch my hand, and she scratched my finger, and now it's bleeding. So that ended treat time, and I'm going to put their toys on, and I'm going to shut the lights, and that's it for today. Everyone's going to bed. Okay, guys, it's time for bed, okay? Look at little Eva. She's hanging out on the new mat from Sharon. It's 11.30 p.m. Look at Simba. He's going to sleep on top of the armoire tonight. It is still raining and the wind is really loud. Good night, Simba. Here's Boo. Good night, Boo. Good night, Boo. Good night, Splash. Good night, Stella.